funding is always an issue for a nonprofit, and particularly our type of nonprofit that serves the homeless and, and the hungry, because folks uh, are often forgotten. And uh, we're in competition for uh, those uh, charitable dollars with a number of national organizations and very fine organizations that do deserve the gifts of individuals and the grants that are given to them. We're fortunate at Loaves and Fishes to have a variety of funding sources. We're thankful that we receive some funding uh, from HUD uh, through uh, some state grants. We're also very fortunate to receive some substantial grants from some very fine foundations here in the Texas area. The real strength, I think, of Loaves and Fishes is, is that we're truly a community organization. Um, a, a, a large chunk of our funding comes from uh, local individuals uh, who who know about us, who love us, and who have a heart for the ministry and work of Loaves and Fishes. Um, the, in, the checks come in, some of them are for $10, some are $25, some are for $10,000 or $20,000. And we really need all of those kinds of uh, gifts and support in order to be able to run Loaves and Fishes. Uh, but more importantly about that is uh, that we need the community support, and I believe we do have it at Loaves and Fishes, that the community leaders, the uh, businessmen, the uh, people who are involved in our institutions of higher learning and other community organizations from our, our Chamber of Commerce to our banks uh, see Loaves and Fishes as a viable and important opportunity for them to spend their charitable dollars and to get a significant impact for those dollars in the community. Because a community like Harlingen is bigger than a small town, but it's not so big that it's an anonymous metroplex. Uh, people know each other here, and it's important for people to know loaves and fishes and to know that we're operating uh, with integrity and frugality and the uh, best possible business practices that we can apply to our charitable work.